The Transformers franchise was unique in the 1980s in that it was made popular through a huge multimedia push. Beyond the cartoon and toy line, there was also a comic book from mainstream publisher, Marvel. The long-running comic book's continuity was similar to the cartoon, but some of the iconic characters were drastically different. One notable example of this was Dinobot leader, Grimlock, who was a far cry from his cartoon counterpart. Written in the comic as being intelligent and antagonistic, this take on the T-Rex Transformer was incredibly violent. The lack of his more well-known qualities also saw his relationship with the other Dinobots change quite a bit. Grimlock was more brutal and intelligent in Marvel's Transformers comics. The Dinobots debuted in the eighth issue of Marvel's The Transformers comic book, and their origins were very different. Instead of being created on Earth in the image of dinosaurs, they were pre-existing Cybertronians who came to Earth and landed in the Savage Land, taking on the form of the native dinosaurs. They got trapped in a tar pit along with rival Decepticon Shockwave until being revived in the present day. Grimlock and the Dinobots, while as ferocious as their names suggest, were far more intelligent than the dim witted brutes of the cartoon. They spoke in full sentences and had at least average intellects, though they were also prone to bestial violence and despised weakness. This disdain for the weak saw them run afoul of the main Autobots, namely their usually kind leader Optimus Prime. When Prime was killed off, Grimlock managed to snag leadership through a combination of force and courage. However, his personality began to change, developing an even more barbaric personality. He would sometimes speak in simple sentences and even refer to himself as me Grimlock. Even with this less verbose vocabulary, he was still smarter than the cartoon's Grimlock, who by that point had begun devolving into a borderline comic relief character following the events of the Transformers, the movie. Nevertheless, it was the animated Grimlock that would define the character in general, making the comic version's importance short to lived. Grimlock faded out of the Transformers franchise. Once Optimus Prime returned, Grimlock just went along with letting him be the leader again. His interaction with the other Dinobots had died down, making him arguably less special. He was unceremoniously killed off by Starscream, who had been empowered by the legendary Underbase. Due to a new toy being released as a classic pretender, however, Grimlock was revived in the comics years later, but his spotlight had notably dwindled. And by the time of Marvel's Transformers, generation to comic, he was mostly just a bit player. This shows how differently certain Transformers were prioritized in the books. Bumblebee and Grimlock weren't the stars they were in the cartoon, with Decepticons such as Shockwave and Bludgeon garnering much more attention. There were times when characters would return or fall from prominence due to the status of their toys, but for the most part, it all fell on the writers. Modern shows and movies have moved away from the cartoon's caveman-like depiction of Grimlock, with shows such as Robots in Disguise portraying him as being just as intelligent as any other Autobot. This was a trend that began in the comic books, which far outlasted the cartoon and had an older readership. While this portrayal might not be considered classic in the eyes of some fans, it's nonetheless one where Grimlock still munches metal first and asks questions later.